Today, we call a guy who about a month ago received an email from a TV production studio oh. saying he was being considered for a brand new reality show. Okay. Oh. Is, is that part real or do we send him a That fake email? part is real. Okay. Oh. And okay. It's been his dream since he was a kid to appear on TV. Oh. So we thought we could oh, make that no. dream come true. Oh, nice. man. With a brand new show where uh-huh. he is going to be going up to a teller in a real bank oh, yeah. and demand that they hand over all the cash. Oh. Oh, and then That's he's gonna run show. out and toss it into oh. an unidentified car and yeah. figure it out. That's hilarious. Wow. That's so funny. Oh, this is gonna work <laughs> as long as he's gullible enough and he trusts me. In your phone tap right now. Hello. Hi, this is David <laughs> calling from <laughs> Productions. I'm looking for Sam. T- yeah, speaking. Hey, Sam. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Did you get my email? Yeah, I, I like. I think it was like about a month ago. I, right. I got one. No, I'm, full disclosure: our AD was out for two weeks with a tricky venereal disease. Ooh. So that's why it took a while to reach out to you. Um, I <laughs> things happen. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess that's a good lesson: never ride a Ferris wheel nude. What? Little seats. <laughs> they got a lot of germs. <laughs> Did not know that. Did you? You're not joking. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh, my God. Anyway, you know, because of the tight turnaround, we would have flown you out to meet in person and sign some paperwork. But because of the delay with our AD, we got to start shooting tomorrow. Oh, Tomorrow? Like, yeah. Like, so uh, we'll have you meet us on location, if that's okay. You, you want to film tomorrow, and I'm part of it. 100%, my man. So the title of your show that you're going to be on is called Break the Bank. Awesome. Yeah. What what is it? What is it? Okay, well it's half reality, half game show where you're gonna be playing the role of a high stakes bank robber. I can't believe this is real. Yeah, things move faster in this industry, but uh we want this to seem as natural as possible. So the crew's been instructed not to come up to you. In fact, you're you're not even gonna know we're there. What do you mean? Like, so they're going to be, like, hiding from me or something? And Well, just listen. After you park, you're going to walk into the <laughs> bank branch on the corner. You'll probably see some people standing in line. And you're not going to know this, but everyone, including the tellers, are all actors. Oh. That's insane. I love it. Yeah. So, and you'll probably see a bunch of security cameras, but don't worry. They're actually ours because we'll be filming you. Oh. Oh my God, you guys have thought of everything. Yeah, and then you go up to the next available window, whichever one it is, and deliver your line. Oh my gosh, okay, great. So I have lines, what am I going to say? Okay, are you ready for it? Yeah, yeah. It's, give me all your money or else. Come on. Yeah. Give me all your money or else. Oh, 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 oh. take it all, (laughs) sir. Please don't hurt me. Uh. (laughs) Nice. Hey, you're a natural. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so um, after that, you're going to want to run outside, and you'll see a gray sedan parked out front. Toss the bag of money in the window, and when the car leaves, you just broke the bank. Oh. So what happens next? Well, we'll contact you in like four to six weeks via email to let us know if your time <laughs> is better than the other contestants. Oh, there's other people doing it too? Right. And then, if you're out of jail, I, I mean, uh, if you're out, uh, able to get out of work. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Sorry, what? some of the tongue there. Um, then, then we can do it again with a special Break the Bank All-Star Edition. Ooh. Oh. You, you don't sound as enthused about the All-Star version. Well, no, it, it sounded weird. It sounded like, you know, now it's not like just me and a show, and it sounds like you said jail, like. I accidentally said the word jail. It'll probably never happen to you, as long as you run pretty fast. See, you just said it right there, right at, right at the end again. Like, so it doesn't even sound like a TV show. It okay. sounds like you want me to rob a bank and give you the money. I mean, it's fake money. It's all for the show. The most important part is to put all the money in our car and let us drive away with it. So you want me to rob a bank to give you money? You're pushing back on me a lot here. I thought you were going to be a team player. You sounded excited at the start of this. I was. I am. I mean, I'd love to do a a show. Your attitude is telling me that you don't. Well, I don't want to go to jail. I mean, you know, come on. Maybe we get your girlfriend, Sarah, to rob it for us. (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. I know she's up for it. I talked to Sarah earlier when she was setting you up for this prank phone call. (laughs) No way. Yeah, dude. (laughs)
way. Oh. <laughs> My real name is Jeff from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a phone tap on you, dude. Oh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, your girlfriend oh, Sarah that's... set you up, said that you've been applying for acting jobs lately and wanted to screw with you. <laughs> you know, for the whole first part of the phone call, I, I thought this was a real thing. I was excited, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Break the bank is real. Just throw the money in the car and then start running. <laughs> we'll email you, I'm sure. If I'm going to rob a bank, I'm not doing it for you, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying.